This week we're going to compare sticky stone versus a fiber reinforced mortar and the pros and cons of, of both applications and then obviously dig into installing it, the fun part. So here we're going to be using sticky stone on this fireplace. Uh, five tubes is going to be equal to about 60 square feet, which we'll kind of go into a little bit deeper later on. Sticky stone versus concrete. We're going to be using a DeWalt gun to put it on. Obviously this is much better than using just the sticky stone gun because this is manual. That's running off a battery, but either or work. Obviously price point can be a big part of that but not a lot of materials to do sticky stone, which is cool. So now we're gonna talk about mixing mortar. So we have a bucket of water to mix our mortar, as well as use it for cleaning. I usually like two pails, one I can keep a little bit dirtier, one with clean water in case I get mortar somewhere and I need to clean it off quickly. And using a sponge, I do that. Mixing, we have a drill, we have a paddle mixer. Obviously our Ardex is what we're using in this application. We have a notch trowel to put on of our scratch coat. And then we also have a couple different style trowels here for obviously grabbing the mortar and a drop cloth to put down. Because obviously with mortar, you get it on something, it sticks to it, it can tend to make a mess. And a bucket for mixing. So that's what we have for materials here. It takes a little bit more to do concrete work. And we just wanted to go over the pros and the cons of each product. So pros of sticky stone, it's obviously the prep work. We walk in the house, we put the tube in the gun, and we're off and running. You also don't have the mess. It's very clean. You don't have, obviously, the water, the mortar, the concrete products. It weighs a lot less, a sticky stone product. And this application, we're gonna be doing 600 square feet. This weighs about 120 pounds compared to doing it with a concrete product that 600 square feet is gonna weigh right around 560 pounds. That's without the water and the different things that go on uh, in that. It can also adhere to just about any substrate. So sticky stone adhering to concrete board, plywood, some of your Dura boards, obviously hardy boards, most just about any product uh, sticky stone can adhere to. Um, it's pretty amazing in that sense, whereas mortar, you have to be careful. You can't stick it to plywood because it will suck the moisture out of the mortar and weaken it um, and you'll get it to crack. So we don't want to stick mortar to plywood. The cons to sticky stone. Obviously, you can see here stone thicknesses. It can be very thick on one side, very thin on the other. You're not able to pad that out like you would with mortar. Uh, the other thing is you're probably going to get a little bit more sla uh, sag in the, in the product. When you stick it on the wall, it's gonna probably sag down a little bit more. Uh, whereas mortar, you're not gonna get that, especially this fiber reinforced Ardex X77. It's not great on uneven surfaces. So if it was real irregular, not a good spot to put uh, sticky stone. In that case, you wanna use mortar. Getting into the mortar, the pros of mortar, it, it adheres to uneven surfaces. You are able to pad out some of your blocks and it's been around forever, right? Mortar's been around for decades. Um, it's tried and true, it's been a great product, whereas Sticky Stone's been around for a little bit less, people a little unsure, and obviously the sag of the stones. This is gonna hold the stone up much better. I've had great experiences with X77 doing that. This is gonna be a cheaper option for the actual product itself, but you're labor extensive, you really need to weigh that out in your company and uh, see if it's worth it. A lot of times you have a mason tender with you to stay ahead, mix the mortar ahead of you, and obviously you have to put that into your cost as well. It can get quite pricey if you do put that into your cost. Cons to fiber reinforced mortar in this case, you obviously have a lot going on here, a lot of product um, to get this done between drop cloths, water, uh, mixing stuff. Obviously the weight of the product itself can be heavy. It's very messy. So now we're gonna mix up our Ardex uh, X77. This is a two to one ratio. So we're gonna do obviously uh, one, two parts of the Ardex and one part water. So this here tends to be a mixing cup. So I actually have them. Uh, you don't necessarily need to for this application. We wanna make sure it's a tried and true. All right, so we got that. Right. 
So now we have our product mixed up. We have a pretty good consistency on that. I already put a scratch coat on and now we are ready to go and stick some stone to it. Like I had mentioned before, Ardex sticking to the wall. You don't get a ton of sag. Um, I just stuck this stone on here and I'm getting about probably a half of an inch of a sag and then it's staying. It's set, it's good. Um, and I believe I have right around 20 minutes to a half hour to adjust that stone a little bit. Um, I don't know the exact details, but Ardex would know. Uh, it's a great product. It allows you to stick stones right in the center, not have to worry about it falling off the wall. That's Ardex. Now we're gonna go to Sticky Stone. So now we're gonna use a Sticky Stone. Again, I prefer the DeWalt electric one, just Okay, so a bead every three inches, three eighths of an inch. We'll take that. We're gonna give it a couple adjustments, back and forth, wiggle it into place. And you're gonna see that we will get some sagging with the sticky stone as well. And sometimes it'll even continue to sag. Now that it's hit that stone, it stopped. And a way that I, um, work that in this application I did obviously all the stone starting at the bottom working my way up um, and then I would use little shims as you can see here I have just a little bit of a stone something that I chipped off and I would slide that up until it got to where I wanted it and then I'd stick that shim in there adjust it to where I want it to go right and now I'm off and running so now when we're using the sticky stone, you do want to be aware of these little pieces where they didn't quite finish their cut. Um, and you just want to make sure you take that nub off so that you get direct contact from the sticky stone to the substrate. So I took that little piece off. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. and then you're gonna stick it right on the wall. You can see sometimes you won't get a lot of sag. Um, again, if you do get some sag to it, we just wanna make sure we kinda of shim it up as we go with some stones. Um, obviously this will have some adjustments within probably 15, 20 minutes. Uh, maybe get up to a half hour, you can make some minor adjustments, but you do want to be just a little bit careful there. This is not what manufacturers would recommend doing. This is kind of a little bit of a trick of the trade that I've kind of figured out. If I wanted to stick this stone um, to the wall, and I did want to pad that out just that little bit, so thickness wise, obviously thicker on this side, so I'll put a bead across this whole side. This side's a little bit thinner, so what I do is I put a little dot, I take a stone at the thickness that I want it to change. Okay, I can stick that stone there. And then I put another bead of this sticky stone on top. Okay, now when I stick it on, right? Now it's nice and flat. Yes, you do have variation between stone a little bit but at least it's not on an angle. So I just got done sticking my last stone. Um, I'm just gonna uh, clean up the sticky stone here. All right, and uh, now we're gonna go clean up the mortar. I just wanted to point out that in this demonstration of Sticky Stone versus the Ardex product, the X77, which is a fiber reinforced concrete, I love both products. Um, they work great in certain applications. Certain products fit you and your team better. Um, so this is to, for you to make your own decision 
It's for me to point out the pros, the cons, uh, the benefits and the, and the features of each of these products and where you think that you could maybe take out a little bit of pain or possibly take out a little bit of, of time and money um, on your project so you can be more profitable and give a better product at the end. So that was the point of this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, obviously like it down below and uh, check us out on Instagram and Facebook and also go on our website, pavetool.com. So thanks again for watching.